Gloucester is an island. We're totally surrounded by water. It's that water that's provided us with our living, our upbringing, our philosophy, our total existence. It's the oldest fishing port. America's oldest seaport, I believe it says in the rotary when you come in. Samuel Champlain called it Beauport. Beautiful port. And the light is what's brought out of here for centuries. My name is Olive Coleman, and we're in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Beautiful, beautiful day with the smell of the beautiful sea breeze. Very invigorating. Mm. Mm. My name is Marjorie, and I've lived here all my life. I've been married for 52 years and have raised four children here. One of my sons was a fisherman and was lost out at sea, and his name is on one of these plaques, so it's really peaceful for me to come here. And this is my baby, Thomas. The young kids that are coming up, they still want to go fishing, and you can't say not to go because it's it's just in them. There's something about the sea that draws you to it. And this fisherman is watching out for all of our fishermen. I think the women in Gloucester probably had to be stronger with their men going out to sea every day. In that statue downtown, you can see the strength in the woman with the child. Well, that, that says so much. You know, growing up in a fisherman's boarding house, you never know if they're going to come back for supper or not. You don't know if they're lost at sea or if they went into a safe port. So we, we try to live for today. We try to have a lot of faith, and we just live for today. We did grow up right here on the harbor, so we were named after whatever boat was in the harbor. My sister was named after the Cheryl Ann, which was a tug out of Boston, and I was named after the Tina Marie, which was my grandfather's fishing boat. father was a fisherman. My grandfather was a fisherman. Once you're exposed to it, many, many people in Gloucester are almost addicted to it. The high school team of the Gloucester fishermen. I just enjoy the being on the ocean. When you're out there, there's just a peacefulness. Sunrise is probably the most beautiful place to be, is on the ocean. It's, uh, the healthiest uh, thing I could do for myself is my health club. My name is Henri Smith, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I came up here after Katrina. I tell you, I've experienced haddock. I didn't experience haddock fish until I got to Gloucester, and uh, that's one of my favorite delicacies now. My name is Tina. I'm a self-taught artist. I catch the fish and I wash them up real good and print them. This is sort of a self-portrait I did. The whole town is real fishermen, real characters, and um, a bunch of people that are really proud of their, their city. We love our little city. We think it's beautiful, so. I could never imagine Gloucester without Gortons. Gortons is an integral part of Gloucester, and Gloucester is an integral part of Gortons, and it's always been that way. The fisherman is real to us, and very real. The man at the wheel painting by Buell in 1913 hangs in our office and is a symbol of the Gortons fisherman that uh, has evolved over the years. I've been all over the world, and everybody knows Gloucester because they know the Gortons fishermen. When I was out in San Diego, and it was always nice to, to have that little piece of home where you could actually pull out the box and say, hey, I'm from this place. These Gortons, that's real. Trust the Gortons fishermen. Trust the Gortons fishermen. Gortons of Gloucester. Trust the Gortons fishermen. Trust the Gortons fishermen. Trust the Gordons fishermen. Trust the Gordons fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Try one more time. Trust the Gordons fishermen. Excellent. <laughs>